Who among you has played The Sims then? I'm sure most of you have, and if not, then you've very likely heard of it. And the game we're playing today, this game called Tiny Life, this is what I'm referring to as a Sims-like. A bit like roguelike or souls-like. Yeah, there's a lot of likes, aren't there? But it's a bit quicker than saying Life Simulator, isn't it? And the thing is, it is ostensibly meant to be very simish, as we will undoubtedly discover. But uh, let's just have a go at it. Let's uh, start a new game and see what happens, shall we? So, new game. Where should the new save game names... What? What should the new save game... Save game's name be? Okay, it's going to be called Soup. Uh, we're going to play Demoville. It has to be said this is going to be the, the demo version, so I've not got the full version. Uh, that is a important distinction to make. Demoville is a small suburban town in the middle of a maple tree forest with a Nicholson household and a beautiful blur 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 blur. I am concerned that we're not going to get a creator sim, but let's just see. Let's just see. Let's play this down game and just see what happens. Welcome to Tiny Life. If you haven't played the game before, these hints will guide you through the first steps. If you want to look at blah 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 blah, the household selection area. So, do you know something already? Uh, I mean, I know we've got this in the way. The orange does not stand out very well against this blue background, but that's by the by. I have uh, comments about the graphics, and we'll just make that uh, clear. But we'll get into that as we, as we come to it. Uh, residential, we've got uh, yellow that are uh, lived in, and orange are community lots. So, blah, 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 game controls, okay, very good. So that's showing you as context-sensitive controls. Some lot types, as well as every world, have a set of slots for staff that permanently work there. The staff cannot be controlled. Okay, quite like this idea. So, in The Sims, and particularly The Sims 2, that is the game that I'm most familiar with in the Sims series, but I imagine it's a staple throughout. Your uh, post workers and your, uh, well, your, serv your general service workers, they're all just randomly generated Sims. And you can't customise them at all unless you were to go in and hack the game, essentially. So this lets you customise um, your service workers, which is quite cool. Only two, though. I mean, there should be a lot more, but, well, maybe they get generated as and when you need them. I don't know. We can't do anything with them because uh, we are in the demo. Now, what I want to do first is create a sim. So do I... No one lives here. So I can't import and export, but I can build a lot and I can put a new household in it is that right new household okay okay slight problem there so can I can I can I back out of this can I come out of this no I can't so we're stuck here now so in the sims when you create a family your family is given a certain amount of money with which they can buy their first home this seems to do things slightly differently and you can just move into whatever home you want I do notice that they only have a small amount of money, so maybe there's a limit on that. I just find that interesting. Um, I also, how... I'm curious how you move... Well, I mean, I should be clear, I'm probably going to refer to these guys as Sims in this video, because that's what this game kind of is supposed to be. But in this they are called Tiny, or Tinies. So I shall try and remember that, but if I say Sims, that's why. How are you supposed to move other families into the same lot? Do you have to move them into a lot first and then move them out again? That would be a little bit crap. But anyway, let's call this person. Obviously, they're going to be called. Uh, let's uh, let's name them and try and make them look like the main sim that was in my recent random legacy uh, playthrough that I did on Twitch. Uh, Soup bomb. She, her. So it's interesting that it lets you just pick. So I do notice that it's got quite a few of the things that came in with The Sims 4. I think one or two of these were Sims 3 as well. So they've uh, they've borrowed a few ideas from that, which is good. So you can change the voice of your 
sim. Presumably there's going to be more options in the full version because, once again, this is a demo. We've got sweet and warm. Sweet and warm? Uh, it doesn't appear that we get any sort of preview, though. So we do get a little bit of a preview. It's, it's kind of quiet, though. Um, I can't really hear it. Sort of, maybe? Yeah, it's... Compared to the music, it is very, very quiet. You can barely hear it. But we'll stick with... Warm, I guess. Eye colour. I did, I did... This is something that I noticed, by the way. I did mention the graphics before, and... Um, yeah, this was one of the things that really stuck out to me, is the fact that... Well, we've got this pixel character here. Fair enough, they look... Fine, but the eyes are all one colour, and so it just it doesn't it doesn't look very I don't know it doesn't look very natural. And even with pixel art, if you're trying to make a, a human-like form, then you're still going to make it look relatively human. And so, and these eyes, I know they kind of look like glass eyes to me. It's a, it's very odd, but I guess we'll go with well we'll go with that. That looks the most sensible. Um, personality. So, again, I think this is a Sims 3 thing. This wasn't a thing in The Sims 2 as such. So you can, you've got to pick two of these and then any number of these. So, outdoorsy, ambitious. Uh, I can see this not being very sustainable if you get to the top of your uh, career path. But we'll see. Well, we'll try it. We'll try it. So... Each tiny has to have a set number of major personality types, blah, 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 blah. You can unlock reward personality types by completing life goals. Okay. Interesting. And, ah, they cannot be both thrift, uh, laid back and ambitious. And then we can have minor ones. Um, so you can have asexual, aromantic, or hates children. That's... Uh, these icons look a bit strange. We'll talk about the graphics because there is a is an elephant in the room, but I don't want to, I don't want it to be all graphics right now. I want to, want to actually see the game. Uh, pescatarian, vegetarian, vegan. I like this. Um, but anyway, hair again. Options are limited because we are in the demo. Uh, go with. Um, Are they suggesting that some of the some of the hairstyles cost money? This is this was free, but it's now free. Okay, that's a bit strange. Uh, Soup's hair was that colour. Uh, no facial hair. Something that I do note is that you don't actually pick a biological sex for your tiny at any point. You do, you do pronouns, but you don't. Um, there's no like. Well, there's. Possibly there's a body shape in one of these tabs, but it's not in evidence as yet. So, uh, boring tank top. Oh, right. So, again, each clothing item costs money. Don't know how I feel about that. That's a bit odd, especially when you're first creating your, your family. I understand paying for lots, but not for clothes. That makes... That makes little in the way of sense. I'm not sure I agree with that one. Anyway, these two colours are... These three colours are virtually identical. <laughs> Seems a bit pointless having this. I mean, I'm thinking preset colours and colour wheel, again, might be a thing in the full version. I want some shoes, though. That's a, that's kind of important. We have no hat. Give you head scarves, which is nice. And a scarf scarf. Body accessories. Now! You get different outfits, so you can pick different ones for everyday formal, uh, gym, sleep, your work uniform. Shouldn't that be like work dress code? That's a bit odd. And protective wear? Protective? So, like outdoor cold weather wear? I do not know. But we can add an outfit, okay. So this is going to be... I mean, I, there's not none of this, none of this is formal, so... 
I suppose it doesn't really matter, does it? Let's uh, let's just leave it at that. Call that done. So that's soup. Um, we can also put in a description. That's nice for for role playing person uh, purposes. Uh, yes, I would like to finish. Actually, no. Let's let's make another one. Let's make uh, Waylon bomb. Now my question. It does say that you can't you don't get life stages in this, but can we set them as partners? Uh, Waylon was not grey. He wasn't grey, was he? What are these? Actually, a lot of these are very grey. If you want a white person, they've got to be grey. Hmm. Hmm. Graphics. Oh, no, there we go. There's... Never mind. Unrelated. Friends or romantically uninvolved. What? Why are they the options? <laughs> sure. Unrelated. Oh, wait. No, these are drop downs. This makes no sense to me at all. Uh, unrelated. Uh, well, I mean, good friends. Soulmates. Sure. Uh, simple short. It's not really simple short. It's quite messy short, in fact. So, there's our, there's our family, and they're already in the household, I didn't read that. Uh, the tab that is currently displayed at the bottom is needs. Okay, pause, pause. P doesn't pause, the numbers don't change the speed. Oh yeah, they do, uh, eventually, but one the P doesn't pause. And we've got music all the time. So we've got the the hotkeys for uh, moving the walls up and down like that. So changing the display of uh, what's what you can see. You can't go. Well, I'm saying we can't go up and down floors. That's only because there's only one floor to this uh, building. But page up and page down, zoom in and out. So does the scroll wheel. Uh, rotate the camera. How do we do this? C is rotate the camera. All right, all right, fine. We can move around with WASD. I don't like that there's music all the time. There's... If you want music, put the radio on. Anyway. Anyway, so Soup is very angry for some reason. Uh, Waylon is fine. Um, so we've got moodlets. Presumably. So emotions, fair enough. Skills, no skills at all. You don't see even what skills available, that presumably means there's more than it can fit in this list. Uh, relationship. So is there? Okay, interactions are blah blah blah, yeah. Try to gauge romantic. So you can ask to start dating. Imply mother is camel. Ask about job, friendly. Okay, we can flip between pages, that's fine. Enthuse about coupons, suggest thrift stores. Ask if single. We can't do anything with this, so why it gets highlighted is I'm not really sure. We can uh, we can turn newspaper deliveries off? That's good. Uh, get a job. Okay, adopt a child. Writing, practice writing. Chat with someone. Practice programming. Okay, that makes sense. Make food, serve food, or bake food. What? How do we see our food supplies? Current life goal, so we can select... Ah, we cannot get... So, lifetime wants. These are... And question mark is other stuff, I guess. So that's their age. Right. So, let's actually play this thing, shall we? How do we get into... Oh yeah, how do we get into build mode? Well, let's just let's just play for a bit. Um, she's very angry because she's not got a job. So let's. Uh... Oh, okay. It just comes up with the loads of jobs. All right. Uh, what sort of job does she want? <laughs> I mean, we've got a lot of options here. We could be a doctor. <laughs> uh, let's let's just do something. Sure, business person. That will do nicely. So what skills do I now need? Oh, she goes over to the computer after you pick the job. So Waylon is now... 
Um, where's Waylon gone? Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's keep going. So, Soup presumably will have a job eventually. I know it's uh, applying for jobs is not a uh, <laughs> a quick task. Uh, we've got. Okay, she's got the job now. Fine. So she's very happy now. Uh, good interaction. Nicely decorated. So, build mode. Right, so build mode is here. So let's see what we can do. We've got six and a half thousand quid. The music changes when you go into buy mode. Okay. So, this is your household furniture storage. So that's like your inventory. Okay, understood. So, roofs. We've got a roof, so that's all good. Uh, some furniture. Uh, Causes your bills to be higher, okay, that makes sense. So, hang on, what, what, how do I select things? Because I don't want to, I don't want to place that. I just want to, oh, you click that one, okay. So what's this then? What is this? Is this, is this the good fridge or is this the, oh my goodness, okay. Alright, and if, if you hold shift, you can, and shift and C, you can uh, rotate in the other direction, that's good. So is that, is that the modern fridge? Is this the same one? If I colour it white? Yeah, it is the same one, okay. Oh. That's curious, the, the colour that it provides you isn't actually available in the catalogue, alright. Uh, is there a better fridge? So we've got living room kitchen. No. Uh, many items weren't available, okay. Kids stove, oh yeah, oh yeah, reliability. Okay, so we can't really do a great deal. can get a mixology set, but the room isn't very big. So let's just see what... Um, how do I do this then? So this is placing down a wall, there we go. So I need to knock it through now. Just access the remove tool. Most objects are removed similar to how they're placed. All right. So knock through the wall, and then we don't get an eyedropper, so I can't pick the same floor. That would be problematic when you uh, eventually get more uh, content. Yes, content. When there's more stuff in the game, essentially. Uh, how do I do wallpaper? That one looks like a hammer. But okay. Big tiles. It does feel a little bit cramped, I'll just say that. The light also doesn't seem to stretch that far, or is it just why is this area darker than the rest? Well, interestingly, this wall isn't actually available. N none of these are. Well, hang on, wallpapers. Drywall, solid paint, little clouds, solid paint with wood, horizontal... Well, we're just going to have to go with that. Oh, wait! No, because they're different colours, aren't they? Ugh. You can tell I don't play much Sims 4. Uh, right, that's another slight concern, is the fact that... Well, a couple of things here. So... Oh, okay, it works now. <laughs> Never mind. Fortunately, I didn't speak too soon. Uh, do we have a TV as well? Can I get a TV? Modern TV. Does it need to go... Presumably it needs to go on a console or something. Oh wait, a TV stand. I can undo, thankfully. Oh boy. Does this mean we can't get to the sofa now because the bookshelf is in the way? Get rid of the bookshelf. We don't need that, it's fine. Can we get a smaller bookshelf? And the thing is, I could probably spend ages... Um, Office. No, you can only have a massive bookshelf. Great. Book cart. There we go. That'll do nicely. Right. Now we go back to live live mode and the music starts again. I did notice that there wasn't a baking skill. What? Oh, space is to pause. Okay. What's he watching? Watch cooking show. All right. 
So that's a specific skill. Possibly soup will need some sort of... Uh, what, what job did I get? Business skill. Eight till four. Uh, so what can we... What are these? What, what? What? Which one do I need? Charisma, charisma. Well, go on then. Let's go charisma then. So, I'm gonna have to talk about it because it's it's the the issue to me. I mean, there's a couple of other things, but I'm just let's get this out of the way. This game looks so ugly. <laughs> I'm so sorry just to come out with it like that, but it, yeah, it's, it really does need to be addressed. A lot of people say things like, oh, uh, graphics don't matter in games, but they do. These people walking around, it does not it's not good animation. Uh, they just kind of hop around. If you look at Monkey Island, I mean, the thing is, a lot of these games when they go for the retro style, they don't ever quite do it right. And if you were to look at something like Monkey Island, which has characters which are similarly sized to the ones in this game, uh, similar dimensions, they are much more detailed, and their animations are that much better. I mean, what's this, a, a three-frame walking animation? I mean, I, I can't right-click to select another tiny, so that, need, that, that can probably be fixed. Uh, I don't... The Q doesn't get... So, in The Sims, when your Sims have free will, if you tell them to do something, whatever they were doing autonomously, that just gets stomped, so they don't do it anymore. But in this, that doesn't seem to be the case. I also note that... Waylon doesn't seem to be doing a great deal, even though, well, he's not doing anything. That um, he's not choosing to do anything. Is that possible because I have him selected? If I was to deselect him, would he then go and do something? Because it doesn't appear that he's going to do. Oh no, there he is. There he goes. He's going to go and chat. All right, he's going to go chat. Fine. Uh. With whom? I'm not entirely sure because they're not showing up here. So that's a bit odd. So is there anything that needs doing in the house? Exactly. Because... Oh, okay. Tony... Hang on. Tony Tresh? Who? Oh, right. Okay. They have shown up then. Good. So presumably these are people I've chatted with. That's fine. So, yeah. The... the to go back to the graphics issue because it does need talking about something that they've done I have studied pixel art for a long time and this feels like a lot of my earliest pixel art and the problem with that is it it looks really dull what they've done this is uh, I mean this is kind of art 101 so I'm not going to go too in depth but like, there's no contrast on this mailbox, for example. So it just looks like a blob. Uh, and there's no contrast between that and the path that's behind it. I didn't even know that there was a newspaper there. Because um, it kind of just blends in with the... I, I thought it was a doormat. Uh, the chair looks like it has no definition. The This thing looks... I don't know. It looks like it's made of chocolate that's been sat around for years and it's gone all white. I don't know. It's, it's things like that. And the the animations, the sense of scale is kind of all over the place. I mean, the telly looks a reasonable size. The fact that the sink is almost as big as they are and they don't actually put the hands in the sink is a little bit of a concern. One could argue, oh, well, that's just to, so that people can make their own sinks and you don't need to worry about it not quite working with the animation. Well, that never stopped Sims custom content, uh, folks. Oh, has Waylon just wandered off? Oh, okay. Well, let's um, go into that in a sec. So, yeah, the, the sense of scale is kind of all over the place. This bathroom looks gigantic compared to soup. Um, 
I don't know, it's... It, and there's only a single bed, we need to fix that. The other thing is, I, I've just noticed this now, let's just, I'll demonstrate with soup, so she'll sit down. It does seem that when we've got a, a, a sim selected, or a tiny selected, they don't do anything. And that's that's a bit strange. I can understand if you had if there was a setting for that, and I did not see a setting for free will. Uh, disable AI for select a tiny. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You can also change the lifespan. I noticed, so that's good. Uh, but anyway, so that that was a setting, so that's fine. But just you saw that, didn't you? So let's sit down. Look, forget that. Sit down, and then stop sitting down. Sit down, stop sitting down. Do you see the problem? <laughs> and it's the same with, with all these other things, like if she was to... Why has she acquired the reasoning skill? Oh yeah, because the news is on. Did she get a remote out, or did she go and turn the telly on? No! She just sat down and the telly just magically appeared. It, it, <sighs> It might sound like nitpicking, but this is a life simulator, and it should it should immerse you. It should be the most immersive thing, because it's a life simulator. I mean, granted, you are floating around, and there's going to be some unrealistic aspects. I'm not talking about it being dead realistic. What I am talking about is it being believable, and that's, that's something that I say about a lot of games. And it might be pixel art, sure, but... That doesn't mean it can't be believable. So let's go and make some food. <laughs> uh, in fact, we, we need to sort this, this house out. The UI is a bit strange as well. Something else I'm just going to quickly point out here is that the pixels are, again, all over the place. The pixel scaling is not one-to-one. -one. Again, you can kind of understand it because you're zooming in and out, but OpenRCT2 can manage it. I'm sure a commercial game can. Uh, so you'll what I'm what I'm meaning by that is that often these pixels are not like these two down here. You probably can't tell on a YouTube video, but they are not scaled one to one. They are scaled slightly differently, and so these these little chunks of pixels. So I'll try and zoom in so you can see clearly what I mean. These ones are bigger than these ones, and when you've got that all over the place, it's really obvious. Particularly when it's in the user interface, look at the build mode icon. The pixels are a different size from the uh, the menu icon. For example, important things to get right because you're selling your game and I mean, should be open to this sort of thing. Anyway, uh, double bed. Let's sort out the double bed so um, we can just pick stuff up and delete it eventually. Uh, you can't move the desk while there's a computer on it, but you can't move uh, the computer to a, to anywhere unless there's a desk. <sighs> the music's quite good, though. I think the music is good. I think, um, again, I would prefer it if it wasn't playing all the time. But that is... That's just, like, my opinion, man. Um, are there any actual posters or anything? Lighting, misc, there's a jigsaw puzzle and a colouring book. I quite like that. Decorations, so we can have... There's lots of pride flags. That's quite good. There's no posters. Let's have... Why are these cheaper? Why are some of these cheaper? Is, have they got, like, sales in the... Uh, in the catalog that's a bit peculiar well sure let's have a let's have a pride flag there we are that's nice just to just to liven it up a bit okay um let's go and have a look at cuz it appears so the neighborhood is not massive is it you get a total of 1 2 3 4 lots um, it shows you the lot boundaries. Um, if you zoom 
if you zoom out far enough, well actually if you just click within the lot area you can go and visit. A good little feature and you can see people wandering around as well, I do like that and presumably you can go and uh, chat to people. She's really angry, why is she really angry? Because she's not made of money. Oh, because I bought something, really? Alright. Waylon's just stood around, does he now work at the cafe? Can we ask for a job? Liam Lungo. Okay, well let's order a uh, let's order some food. Let's order uh, a chocolatine. Let's get one of those. Teach life lesson, really? You just gotta talk to some random kid and start preaching to them. Come on, Waylon. That's weird. Oh, oh dear. The one staffer at this at this cafe has gone to clean the toilet. Yeah, these walking animations just ain't doing it for me. And the other thing is... Great, you picked it up from behind the bar. That makes no sense. The other thing is... Because of... The graphics and because of the animations and... Because... Partly because of the low resolution, but we can't blame that entirely on the low resolution. These characters don't have any personality. Is he washing stuff in the sink in the bathroom? This is not a very well designed cafe. They don't have much in the way of personality. And they... That's, again, a very important factor when, you, when you're making a life simulator. You have, to want, you have to be able to connect to your characters. So, I'm not saying that it's impossible with characters such as this. Uh... No, um... <laughs> no censorship of that. Interesting. Okay. Just get it all out. Sure. Yeah, that's, it's, it's... Again, I, I'm... I may be... Um... Just a little too cynical. And maybe... This is fine. But I just know when I, when I see Sims stuff, it's very often about the Sims and their stories. And I just feel like these guys have not got the personality to make a, an enticing story. And correct me if I'm wrong on that one. If you disagree, then, well, you're more than welcome to. Not everybody has to disagree with me. Uh, it's also odd that cooking and baking are different skills. I suppose that kind of makes sense, but might be slightly overcomplicating things. So, obviously I would have to play this for a long time to see all the ins and outs, and of course I would have to get the full thing to see all the ins and outs. There is clearly a lot to this game, but I think I can deliver a good first impressions verdict. It's fine, <laughs> you know, it's, it's okay, but I think... <sighs> I think it's just missing quite a lot of the... Well, I'll come back to that word again. It's missing a lot of the personality that makes the games that it's very heavily based on so special and so playable. I mean, this person's kind of running around, but they don't look like they're running around. Things like that. Um, it's also... doesn't feel quite as usable. That's not... Uh, like, the user interface... Very chunky, very chunky. You could be much more efficient with this space. You could, you could even, well, observe how this character portrait down here is just this blank uh, face. Why not have these much higher res? You could still do in pixels, but have them higher res and we can actually see some, some emotion or something. You don't have to tell us that they're happy. Show us that they're happy. There's a, there's a concept, huh? Um... But the yeah, the 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 music that's playing in the background at all times. Put a radio in the game. That's what it's there for. It's a life simulator. Music doesn't play at all times in real life. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah. I really don't want this to sound like nitpicking, but it's that's kind of where it's getting to. In short, if it, I guess if you like what you've seen, then you'll probably enjoy this game. And if it, what you're after is a, a very basic life simulator, then go for it. But this... I hate to say it because The Sims is just this, this monolith. This 
gargantuan uh, monster of a game. It doesn't stand up to The Sims. It wasn't going to. I think that's a really tall order. But the the fact is that even if you weren't comparing it to The Sims, it's still not a great experience, I don't think, based on the, the little of that I've played of it. However, with all that being said, I don't want to be an entirely negative Nancy because I can still see that there would be some enjoyment in this. And any disruption to The Sims and any attempt to make a Sims like that is not The Sims, well, it's all good in my book. Uh, keep keep these games coming because um, EA deserves to be taken down a notch. Oh, one other thing. These guys can occupy the same slop, same spot on the ground. Not great. You can't. I can't see where Soup is now. And if I wanted to, if I was in control of her, but I didn't know where she was, well, I won't be able to find her, will I? Okay. I'm going to leave that there. Uh, I think if this had some. The thing is, everything that I've talked about can be improved without having to make a whole new game. I mean, obviously the graphics are a big, big part of that. Uh, just some some basic colour theory, I think, is, is in order here. Um, thanks. Other than that, things like the user interface can be improved over time. And I genuinely hope that this game sees some improvements because, like I said, any disruption would be great. And any alternative to the, the EA Monopoly... Is great too. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this look at Tiny Life. And if you do enjoy the game and want to pick it up, there is a link in the description to go get it on Steam or just try the demo as we're doing here. Uh, other than that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all for the next one.